So I'm here in this hospital room, probably like thinking that's, that's kind of different. But I'm here because I uh, relapsed. My leukemia came back. My name is Matt Cable. I play for the Atlanta Wild and I'm our strength specialist. I grew up in a household that was military based, so we kind of moved around a lot. My parents divorced at an early age. I was nine years old when they divorced. I would see my dad, you know, once once a year. It was tough. It was. It was. It was, it was really hard, um, difficult, not having you know that father figure in your life. You know, my mom was always working. Neither one was really in the fitness. For whatever reason, I always wanted to work out. I always wanted to be moving, doing a sport. Uh, it didn't matter. So I went judo. Then I wrestled. And I played football. Went to the track field. Uh, and weightlifting was a, was a big one for me. And I've always just had to do it. I've had to play sports. You get the, the screams and yells of the crowd. Um, kind of, it gives you chills. And that's a great feeling. So I was in the Air Force for 12 years. 2011 is when I joined. I had a lot of good memories. You know, it was honestly probably one of the best, best choices I could have made. I, I miss putting on the uniform every day, right? Having a sense of, you know, purpose, I guess. It's kind of what I felt. So when I was first diagnosed with leukemia in 2014, uh, I was in really good shape, um, but I, I didn't know what was going on, right? I felt like I was dying. I didn't know what, what the heck was going on. I went to the hospital four times before they actually caught it. Uh, my brother, you know, was next to me. Mom was next to me and they were both were, you know, pale white, uh, crying. And I'm just like, well, hey guys, I gotta beat it. Um, I didn't know what to expect, how my body was gonna react um, and like how long my recovery was gonna be. When death is at your doorstep, um, it's hard to kind of explain, but for me, you know, you're scared for, for a second, but you know that you can't be scared for long. You have to fight head on. Like, you can't fear death. Uh, and so that's what I did. I didn't think about dying ever. It was just like, all right, how am I gonna beat this? All right, let's go, next step. All right, let's, uh, let's conquer this, conquer that. I had a few low points um, going through my cancer journey. I was in a coma for 18 days. I lost 65 pounds in that time frame. Um, so when I woke up, I was a skeleton. And so for me, it was like looking in the mirror and telling myself, hey, it's okay, it's gonna come back. You just gotta work one day at a time. Just keep working, don't stop. Thank God for muscle memory. <laughs> I, I rested as much as I could throughout the day, gave myself about an hour, hour a day to work out um, and do what I could. You know, my blood wasn't reproducing at the time. So, you know, very low hemoglobin levels and I still just did what I could and I was able to get my strength back up, you know, utilizing nutrition to help me along with also um, the gym and training. Um, and I think that kept me from dying. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I survived because uh, my, my, uh, my strength, my mental strength, physical strength of just pushing forward each day. I was able to withstand the storm and beat it through my journey. I fought the med board, I stayed in the military. Um, I then was deployed overseas in 2019. I did what I could, but my body was taking a hard toll. You know, I'm having crazy night sweats. Yeah, my body was getting beat up, right? And so I couldn't fight the med board anymore. So I got medevaced back home to the States. So I'm here in this hospital room, probably like thinking that's, that's kind of different. But I'm here because <laughs> I uh, relapsed. My leukemia came back. It was pretty tough on me mentally. Uh, I felt bad for myself, sorry for myself, but you know, I, I pushed forward. I then knew I had to have a, bon a bone marrow transplant. It was brutal. Before I had my transplant, um, I was O negative. Um, after my transplant, my blood is now A positive. So I literally have um, new DNA in my body. And my body every day wants to reject its new cells, its new DNA. And then when you get on chemotherapy, it really isn't that much better. Like you're putting poison in your body to kill off the poison in your body. <laughs> so uh, I'm very grateful for my family for being there for me. My wife, Ensley, when I relapsed, we were just talking at the time uh, while I was deployed overseas. And when I got medevac back to the States, she flew from Florida to Walter Reed, met me in the hospital. That was our first time we ever met. And she's been there by my side ever since. Um, and so we weren't even married, we were very newly dating and she walked into the, the hospital room and I was getting a bone marrow biopsy and I was getting ready to start chemotherapy and she's right there by my side holding my hand. And so without her, um, I don't think I could have made it through this, this battle.
She was my caregiver for a long time and we just, the love that has grown between her and I, it's, 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 it's incredible, it's insane. She's gone through chemo, chemotherapy her own, herself. Like she's, she had breast cancer. I'm not supposed to be able to have kids. Here, here I am, you know, here we are with a two and a half year old and now a little girl on the way, you know, so she'll be here, you know, in, in a couple months and um, just miracles on miracles, you know, and I'm just so grateful for everything, everyone in my life who's been there. Um, I was on life support twice. I should be dead twice. And I'm here because fitness saved my life. You'll see me in the gym every day, right? Obviously being smart with it, I'm, you know, I'm taking the proper days off, you know, active recovery and whatnot, but I've gone through multiple rounds and rounds of chemotherapy uh, and a bone marrow transplant. And I still feel like I'm probably in the best shape of my life. Um, the grid's been definitely a big benefit. That's kind of one of the things that I, I throw myself into. Grid is very challenging and I love that, right? I can do a lot of the movements uh, in grid. They're uh, short races, you know, and they're like sprints. I like to be challenged because everyone brings it. And uh, I definitely look forward to this year. This journey that I've been on has taught me resiliency, to always be ready for anything to cross your path. I've had to be resilient. I've had to overcome pretty tough obstacles. So I've had a lot of uh, close comings and, and also a lot of miracles in my, in my past. And here I am, I'm still here five years later. Um, you know, I want my son to grow up and see, see me compete, right? My wife compete. And uh, yeah, just, just be that example for them, a positive example and, and influence for them. You know, life's great. Um, and be grateful for you know, everything that comes along your path.